Hey, in this video, I will show you how to use GraphQL Hive as the schema registry for Apollo Federation. We'll do this in five simple steps. First, we're going to clone and run the Apollo Federation demo. Then afterwards, we're going to create our Federation pro project on GraphQL Hive. Then we will install and configure the GraphQL Hive CLI, push our subgraph schemas to the GraphQL Hive registry. And then last, configure the Apollo gateway to actually use the GraphQL Hive schema registry. Uh, the Apollo Federation demo is a repository on uh, GitHub. We'll just clone this. And then install the dependencies. So go into that and it's using npm. So we'll just run npm install. While that is running, we can already have a look at what's going on here. So first of all, we have our gateway.js file, which is basically an Apollo server instance that's using the Apollo gateway package for introspect and introspection and compose composition of the local services. We have four services, an account service, a review service, a product service, and an inventory service. So the super graph is composed out of those. And then with the gateway, it will just instantiate an Apollo server and start it. And then for the services, we have four services, as I said before, and each of them has their own individual GraphQL schema and some mob data for serving. So now that we install the dependencies, we can actually run the existing setup as is. So first we're gonna start all the subgraph services. So we go into the, oh, we're already in that folder. So we're gonna run npm run start services. That should start uh, for Node.js servers. Yes, we have 403, 401, 402 and 4004. And let's check out one of those subgraphs. See what we can query. We can query the top products, the name. Let's query the name of the top products. So table, couch, and chair. And the next step, what we're gonna do is actually compose those services with the gateway. And we have run start gateway. Oh no. And now on 4000, we have uh, the Apollo Gateway, which we need to use via uh, Apollo Studio. So if we go back to the playground, we should now be able to still carry the top products. But in addition to that, we now should have new fields like reviews. And, and for an R review, we can get the author. So let's fetch the top products with the, the names of the review authors. And there we can see our data. So if we would try to query for the reviews here, they're basically non-existent because this is only a single subgraph. This is the full composed subgraph. Okay, cool. So now that we cloned and run the Apollo Federation demo, let's start with Hive. We're gonna first create our uh, Federation project. So here I already logged in to GraphQL Hive. I'm gonna click the create project button, uh, create my first project. Let's name it Federation demo and choose the Federation uh, project type, create project. And then we already have pre, pre-made targets. We'll use the development target for the purposes of this video. And then the next step we need to do is set up the GraphQL Hive CLI. So we're gonna stop the gateway for now because we won't need it for a few minutes. So first what we need to do is install the Hive CLI, so npm install at GraphQL Hive CLI. 
We can install it as a development dependency. And oh no, it's not found here. It's dash missing here. So for actually running the Hive CLI, we first and publishing the schemas, we first need to uh, configure it. So we need to create a hive.json file. And in there, we need a token. And the token is bound to a specific project. In this case, it's our development target. So we need to go to the settings here and go to tokens, generate the token. Click that button. Let's call it my token. And then for this target, we need to select that it's allowed to read and write to the registry and then generate that token. Copy that, close this dialog and copy it in here. So then we still don't have schema here. So what we need to do is now to push the subgraph schemas to the to GraphQL Hive. So as I said before, the four services each have their own schema defined within the index.js file. And we can just use that for mm, pushing it. So let's, oh, let's open a new terminal here. Uh, CD, federation demo. And then let's start uh, writing the comment for pushing a schema. So it's npx i schema publish services slash accounts slash index.js. And we also need to provide a service name. In this case, it's called accounts. And also we need to provide an URL. So this service is running on oh, it's running on port 401, so that's fine. And on the slash GraphQL endpoint. <clears throat> so let's try publishing that schema. Published initial schema available at a project. So let's reload that page. Now can see you. We now have the account schema over here. So up next, we can push uh, the other schema. So let's copy that comment, paste it in here. Next, let's go for the review service. The review service is running on port 402. Let's try publish that. Oh, now it's rejected. Why? Detected nine errors. There's an unknown type product. So if we open the schema file, we see that it extends the type product, but there is no definition of the type product because that is actually happening within the product service. So the GraphQL Hive schema cannot be valid if we would push the uh, review schema first. So instead, we first need to push the product schema and then afterwards we can push the review schema. So let's go here, copy that and create our uh, product publish comment. So it says name is products and then for products, the port is actually 403. And let's copy that one and then publish it. Okay, that worked. If we go to the browser and refresh, we now see also our product service. So let's see if we now can publish the review. That also worked and then Last, we also have our inventory service. So for that, just using port 404, adjust that. Uh, it's called inventory. 
and also it's in the folder in the tor. Copy that comment and execute it. Now we also published our last service. Now we have an inventory service, review service, product service, and also the account service. So here we have like all the single services, but what we actually want to see is the compose schema. And we can either do this on the laboratory tab. If we're browsing here, you can see we have a query query type which has the user field and the top products. If we click on the products, you can see the connections and all of that stuff. But if we want to have this as an SDL, we actually need to uh, connect to the CDN and fetch it from there. So what we can do is click the connect, uh, connect CDN button and then it will give us a URL. Let's paste there. And it will also give us an access token. And now we can or the terminal the tether fetch the schema. So we need to attach slash SDL for getting the schema SDL. It's the merge schema SDL. And then also we can attach slash supergraph for getting the supergraph definitions. And there you can see there's a polyphyllation specific stuff in there. So, so now we have the old services published uh, to the GraphQL Hype Registry. The last step is actually to now configure the Apollo Gateway to use the GraphQL Hive Schema Registry. For that, we'll go to the gateway.js file. And here we're gonna change the local introspect and compose uh, functionality to actually use the remote GraphQL Hive Registry. So let's delete this. And for this, we're gonna actually use the uh, GraphQL Hive client package. So we first need to install it. So npm install uh, app GraphQL Hive client. And let's import from here GraphQL Hive client. And this exports the uh, create super graph manager function. And instead of uh, creating the introspection thing, we'll just create the super graph manager. And this basically needs two uh, values provided. First of all, the endpoint. And then also the key. And those are actually the values we just copied from the Hive web app. So let's copy the endpoint and also copy the key, put them in here. Double check everything. So the graph SDL is passed to the Apollo gateway. Okay, cool. So now our services are still running on those ports. And what we can do now is to just uh, restart the gateway. So what we're going to do is npm run the gateway. Gateway is back running on localhost 4000. So if we head back to the sandbox tab, we can refresh. Let's copy the query. It's still there. So execute our operation and ta-da. We get the same result with the difference that instead of using the local services or introspection on the local services, we are actually using the GraphQL Hive uh, schema registry for getting the information. Yeah, that's it.